Yes, so. <laughs> Welcome to the exciting new podcast. I'm Jason. I'm Andy. I'm Dana. And we got no Brian. <laughs> <laughs> That's why the music, it's so very, I guess it'll sound better when the music's put in, but. <laughs> we can only, really good, though. We can only hope. I was like, where's that board I know, from? it's really good. <laughs> I'm impressed. Well, thank you. Uh, we're here to, uh, we're going to be discussing uh, Joel's ah, 3D. Man, the not music's fucking Jason up, I can tell. <laughs> Usually I'm like listening to music still, it's still going on right now. But uh, Jaws 3D, that's what we're watch- that's what we watch, and we're going to discuss. It's rated PG, uh, running time of an hour and thirty nine minutes. An hour and thirty nine minutes too long, if you <laughs> ask me. <laughs> July twenty second, nineteen eighty three is when this came out in the theaters. Directed by Joe Alves. This is our first Joe Alves uh, movie. Does he have a top four? Uh, no, I was just looking to see. I, I think this is our first Joe Alves movie, and it is. Um, <laughs> I hope so. He has a couple good uh, movies in uh, his uh, top four, minus Jaws 3D, which is in his top four. I don't know him. Give me, give me his top four. I don't know. In his top four was Jaws, but that was because he was the production designer <laughs> on like, that. Man, I thought there was another director. The on only that. movie that he directed in his top four is Jaws 3D. The other two uh, things in his top four, he was also kind of the production designer, and they were good movies. They were Escape from New York and Close Encounters of the oh. Third Kind. So he had some good movies, but he was not. A director for those. He was just a director. He only directed one movie, and that was so. Movie. So he directed Jaws 3D, and then they said, y- "You're better not doing. <laughs> do other things." <laughs> I saw he did stuff like that. He did like uh, a lot of stuff for his sets and stuff like that. Okay. So he helped. People have so, to do that yeah. stuff, you know, right? So sometimes, he's one of those sometimes guys, people, yeah. you, you don't want that promotion. Don't push me into a position where I'm not going to succeed, please. Yeah. Some people yeah. are, some people can produce, some people can act, some people direct, you know. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And the it's people like, that produce are the people, that all they're doing is really giving money. So. Yeah. It's like when you get the stuntman to uh, direct a movie. like. Although the stuntman was a very good actor in, um, well, uh, what's that, the uh, latest uh, Tarantino. Uh, oh, uh, yeah, I know what you're talking upon, about. Once Upon a Time once in Hollywood. Time. Oh, right. <laughs> good, good movie. I like that one. Um... IMB, IMDB description, a giant 35-foot shark becomes trapped in a SeaWorld theme park, and it's up to the sons of police chief Brody. You may remember him from some... Uh, <laughs> Charles 1 and 2. Yeah, <laughs> the Amity, you may remember him from Amity, uh, to rescue everyone. And uh, I didn't put the other d- description on there because it was just long. The same thing. Basically just, <laughs> it was basically just talking through the movie like this scene happened this scene happened this scene happened but that's our that's our description there but we'll go right into the cast if you want unless you have something well, to I was say gonna say I don't the, remember how big Jaws was <clears throat> but I, I feel like it was like 27 it was, it was huge 27 the feet or something <laughs> the, the shark itself oh, I don't, I don't like think they make this one like 35 feet, feet. Yeah. they're like oh my god it's gotta be the biggest fish ever <laughs> I'm sure Jaws Revenge. They did a lot of that, one, uh, was like 47 of, feet. A lot of fish and mammal <laughs> jokes again. I, I think yeah. that was that was happening. I actually throughout had my Google own. That. I had my own fish and mammal joke while I was watching this movie. I said those dolphins are the smartest mammals in this fucking park. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> so Brody was in other movies. Well, the kids, the, the like kids De- of Dennis the- Quaid and the okay. brother are. Roy Scheider's kids in the two earlier oh, Jaws okay. movies. Okay, okay, I didn't oh, yeah. know that. They're oh. just kids in that movie, not the right. same people. Not the same obviously, people. Yeah. Were, yeah. I mean, I guess. Okay, I guess the Dennis Quaid one. That's Mike, right? He was probably a teenager in the second one because they were the ones that went yeah, after right, that power yeah. line. Mm-hmm. And then all of a sudden, he's an engineer. Oh, he was, and then the other one's afraid mm-hmm. of the water. Yes, of course. <laughs> that's why he lives in Colorado because they don't yes. have a river or anything like that. <laughs> 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 you, uh, you're afraid of the one you go to Kansas. <laughs> you don't go to Colorado. Um, playing Mike Brody was Dennis Quaid. This is our first Dennis Quaid movie. Yeah, mm-hmm. he was a child in this. Yeah, was he even thirty? I don't think he was thirty yet. Um, I didn't look up his age. So yeah, but uh, you want to try uh, Dennis's uh, top four? Mm-hmm. I, I really want to get his brother's autograph because he's doing the circuit now, Randy. <laughs> oh so really? If, he, if he's ever at any of these uh, conventions, I'll be. Uh, well, is he doing about, that uh, Christmas vacation thing? Isn't that? That's Chevy's doing. Oh, that. Chevy's yeah. doing. Mm-hmm. How about the Parent Trap? No, really. But that was a good movie that he was. It I sure like was. That one. I like that one. Me too. That was with um Lindsay Lohan. Yeah, Lindsay Lohan was in that. Oh, one. was he her dad? He was the in dad. That? Oh, yeah. I did not know. I did not know. I've seen that, but I didn't. Yeah, because then there's that. the other one was uh the, the um, original parent yeah, trap. That was the um, oh, the uh, teacher I, from uh, Saved by the Bell, Miss Bliss. Oh, Jesus yes. Christ! Yes, I thought you were talking about the dad, but yeah. Yeah. <laughs> How about um 
Oh man, Dennis Quaid, man, he's one of those guys. Uh, how about Day After Tomorrow? Yes. Oh, that is my favorite. My favorite. That's a great movie. <laughs> God, it's a steamy pile of shit. Oh, I, I love like that it movie. so much. Jake Gyllenhaal. Yeah, right? yeah, I think yeah. that was one of his first roles. He was in a movie with um, Jim Caviezel. Oh, Frequency? the guy played Jesus. Jesus. Yeah. Oh my God, that's Remember right. That oh, that was a great Frequency's movie. Frequency's in Dennis Quaid's top four. Frequency is? Yeah. Oh wow, <laughs> that is a really? great movie. Then um, I'm not going to guess the other ones. Michael Rappaport's in that. That's where like the the is the radio the signals thing? going back yeah, yeah, in time. Yeah. 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 Oh, that's a great movie. I love that. Him. Yeah, I remember that I, movie. Okay. Yeah. All right. How about um, he met his wife uh, Meg Ryan on was it DOA? I think that's that? a movie you met her on, but that's not in his top uh, four. Yeah. Damn, I was really thinking. You're probably it. not going to get Far From Heaven, so I'll give you that one. Mm. Mm. I would not have gotten that. And the other one you might have got after a little while, I'll give it to you though. Inner Space. Oh, Martin Short, right? Yeah, that yeah. one's come up a couple times. Oh. That was a good Inner one. Space, yeah. Did you finish uh, Only Murders? Yes, <laughs> that's that was good... really good. Very. And good. it's coming back for season four. I know. So that's great. The way this one ended too. <laughs> oh, so good. So good. <laughs> Okay, I have to think about remember? how it ended. No. The um, person that got shot at the end while they, they were going back to their... Really? Yeah, yeah. I can't... It ended, it ended. I don't yeah, recall. Yeah, we don't want to spoil it, but I'll tell, you, right, we'll tell, tell you after. after. Yeah. Um, playing uh, Dr. Catherine Morgan was Bess Armstrong. <laughs> Dina got it. <laughs> Catherine Morgan was his girlfriend? Yeah, the, yes. she was the mm-hmm. main woman, the doctor. I knew her from. She was all about. Well, save sh- it. She knew all about sharks and everything. She sure she? did. I want to know what Dana knows her from. Oh uh, well, I know her from. Not, um, not she was the mom in One Tree Hill, and she was the mom in um, a mom in One Tree Hill. She was in like two episodes, but she was married to Huey Lewis in in that. Oh, and then that's fun. Um, she I'm was the mom in um, the uh, life is no. Like, she's, got it, it? she's got it. She's no. got it. She's got oh it. She's got, got it. Oh my god, I love the show. It's one season. My senior in high school is it. called um She's got it. Jordan Catalano. Jordan Catalano. Which was Jared Leto and it was called um My So Called Life. Yes. Oh my god, it was right there. I don't it's know why this, Life as we know it's in her was top like four, yes. stuck in, she was the mom of that too. I yeah. was hoping you would get that one. Yeah. Yes, I love that show. That was a great show. It really was. And it should have been picked up for oh, more yeah. seasons because yeah. I don't know why it didn't. There's probably there has to be a reason. Yeah. But I don't know what it is, but that It was on ABC. Been picked up. Maybe yeah. that's why. I don't know. Um They should have given it more. Yeah. I guess that was back before other stations picked up. Yeah, they didn't uh, do that shows, back then. Yeah. You it know, was like 95, I think. I, I never feel the loss of Brian more than when you guys connect on something, and I'm like, I have no idea what the fuck you're talking about. <laughs> you said since you sit there, you don't you don't know anything anymore. Well, when the Evil like, Dead podcast, Evil I was Dead. like, Mac and Jason know everything about this. I'm I'm the dummy. I'm like, Brian's usually the dummy. Now I'm the dummy? Oh, I hate that. <laughs> We gotta get another but guest see, on now, huh? this is where it's going to come in because there's a couple years between us and a couple years between you and a few more years between us. So you guys are going to know a lot of things that I'm just be like, I'm too young for this. And then, Ugh. sorry to break it, but I'm too, too young for that. This. <laughs> it's worse when we have like uh, his kids on. Oh, and yeah. then, like, you know, and they're like, like Connor, Carrie, like, they're what? in like twenties, like twenties. <laughs> but then, but then again, they know some things. It's like you know, they're into like Blade Runner. You know, what I mean, yeah. like. You know, Brady loves Blade Runner, and it's like, yep. he has the kid that he went to school with, they probably don't have no any mm-hmm. clue about that movie. Yeah. But like, Not the kids that Brady and Logan yeah. went to school with. Yeah. Like, no, those kids are all like, stupid. Then Brady and Logan, <laughs> then like Logan, there's all those 80s movies, again, thanks mm-hmm. to his parents. His parents yeah. and his, didn't you say he had Is a that teacher? Child abuse? <laughs> didn't he have a teacher that would always talk to him about like yeah, 80s yeah, yeah. movies and yeah. stuff Miss like Rowan. that? Miss Rowan was his... Uh, that's cool. To have yeah. a teacher like that, that would be that cool to like... But that's why I grew up knowing a lot of the movies I did, because my father would force upon me movies like Not the force. day the the village of <laughs> the dam trying, the original oh, the day yeah. the earth well, she stood got, still she got, stuff like that she got yeah. forced to go talk to greg allman oh my god <laughs> i always bring that up the time he made me go talk to him was awful i was like 10 <laughs> he wasn't gonna send my sister because she was like 17 but he's like yeah, you like, go yeah, cause he, <laughs> yeah she might not come back. yeah exactly <laughs> I, I, well, what i don't know the story so at all we my dad had a very good friend who did a lot of photography and he was doing something for the New Jersey or Pennsylvania State Fair. I don't remember which one. So we got backstage passes. And at that night, Greg Allman was playing. And we were backstage. And my dad's like, go talk to that guy over there. I'm like, I don't want to talk to him. His hair was like down to his butt. It was like blonde Greg hair. Greg Allman's an imposing Totally figure. 80s. Yeah. <laughs> with... 80s girls surrounded by these 80s so Cher wasn't there Cher wasn't there no (laughs) 
Um, but just surrounded by, you know, the typical 80s girl. And I do not want to go up. Groupie. Typical Thank you. That's, groupie. that's what I want to say. And he's, like, pushing me. Like, go talk to him. And I think I might have, like, waved like this all awkwardly or something but he was like oh, i can't send your sister i'm like no <laughs> and did greg allman talk back to you did i have no idea that? i oh. probably turned bright red Blacked out. and then looked did you get like ground. an autograph or something no. like that no no yeah. and i remember the mamas and the papas or whoever was left at that time i think the girl from one day at a time was performing with him at that point because obviously the other lady was dead <laughs> with her rapist yeah. father <laughs> yeah and then but we didn't really watch them but my dad was like telling me who they were or something is all i remember Phillips, John Phillips, yeah. Mackenzie Phillips. Mackenzie Phillips was from one day at a time. Yes, he raped thank her. you. He raped his own yeah, daughter. Yeah, he raped his own Ooh. daughter. Yeah. Good stuff. I did not know that. Oh, yeah, you should check out the uh, Mamas and the Papas. Uh, I don't think I want to. Uh, what was that uh, show on VH1? Rock. Uh, uh, behind the Music? Behind mm, the Music, yeah. Mm-hmm. That Mamas and the Papas would be a good one, yeah, but he was uh, not a good guy. Yeah. Yeah. Um, all right, so Jaws 3D, My So Called Life, The Four Seasons, and Nothing in Common were her top four. Who are we talking about? That was Bess Armstrong, oh, yeah. Jesus mm. Christ. We did her already because we did High Road to China. Yeah, that was a bad movie. And mm. and Michelle came down for the end of this movie, and she was like, damn, this girl can't act. I'm like, I think we are watching the end of her acting career right now because we did High Road to China they wanted, earlier. They, they wanted her to be yeah. much bigger than what she... Uh, but my God, she cannot act. Oh, She's not yeah. good, yeah. She was cute though. She definitely I can see yeah, why they yeah. wanted her to go further because she was a cute girl. Yep. But if she just if, didn't if have you're the competing against jobs. like Meg Ryan, yeah, yeah, no, she wasn't. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> She's no Meg Ryan. No, no, yeah. You could see Meg and Ryan. Dennis Quaid said the same thing. Dennis Quaid's yeah. like, yeah, no. Meg Ryan has that cuteness that Bess Armstrong has, but Meg Ryan has the acting yeah. chops. Bess didn't have those acting chops, yeah. but uh, you know who did have those acting chops? Simon McCorkendale. He played <laughs> Philip Fitzroy. Oh my god! I was so happy when he got eaten. <laughs> did he get eaten? He just kind of like got. He just went into ingested. the mouth and then never left his. He was in his cheek. He was like in the shark's but cheek. But does the whole that time. kill you? Like, can't you just hold like? <laughs> but we saw a lot of red, right? Wasn't there a lot of red? Yeah, then the red yep. came out. I he, felt that he didn't get bit. He was just kind of <laughs> engulfed. Yeah. <laughs> I think he was squished. He Maybe. died in 2010. Uh, he was Shark only 58. Oh. Uh, he had bowel and <laughs> lung cancer. Mm. Yeah, 58. He was young. Uh, his top yeah. four. The closer does I have, get, <laughs> it does have Jaws 3D in his top four. Mm. Yeah, I, I don't know him. I don't. You're think. not going to get him. It's Death on the Nile. That's that. Uh, that oh, the, not the new one. Obviously, say, did that just come out? Did he yeah. die earlier? But there's a remake. Who did the remake? I forget. Who's Kenneth Branagh? Is it Kenneth? Yeah, him. Yeah. Uh, but he was also uh, Falcon Crest and Counter-Strike. Oh. That's, sure. not, that's not a very sexy top four. No, playing Calvin Bouchard, he came in about 40 minutes into the movie, I would say. I didn't get the is exact that, timing. Is that Lou Gossett? Yeah, Lou oh, Gossett okay. Jr. Um, his top four. This is our first Lou mm. definitely, Gossett. Definitely our first. I don't, he wasn't in Blue Thunder. No. I only, I remember him mostly as a kid from Iron Eagle. Yeah, Iron I Eagle. I loved that movie. That did not make his hmm. top four. I well, don't know if I know he's anything definitely else. In, um, uh, I was going to say Terms of Endearment, but I don't mean that. The other I know one. I when you're trying to get. Um, Officer and Gentleman. That is correct. With mm. Richard it's Gere. in his top four, yes. Okay, and, and also, he was in, with Dennis Quaid, Enemy Mine. That is in his top four. I think That's I saw a that. great Sounds familiar. movie, Enemy of Mine, where he's an ale. He's I like a, that movie. He's like a reptilian. Dennis Quaid's a human, and they crash land, and they're oh. they're enemies, and they have to like take care of each other to survive. Sounds kind very of thing. familiar. I'm sure it was based on like a Japanese and Jaws American. Three D is also in there, like but then there's one other TV movie. Wow. Oh, was he in The Shining? No. Nah, remake? Oh. Uh, he might have been. I don't know. <laughs> oh, wow. When they made the movie, there the, there was a man, an uh, older black man, who was at the hotel. That he might, well, yeah, he might have had that role. I don't know who it was, but he yeah, was on. Yeah, I replace Scatman Crothers in that, I guess. He was in uh, Roots. Oh. Louis Gossett Jr. was in Roots. Was he really? Mm-hmm. I thought he was too young for that. Nah, he's got to be in his 80s now. I guess now, yeah. Yeah. Um. Playing the other uh, son, uh, Sean Brody, spelled S E A N. I don't like that. Um, <laughs> John Putch. P- you don't like S E A N. All the guy, all the Shawns I knew growing up were S E A N. That's incorrect. Yeah, that's incorrect. Yeah, Tara's my, brother is S E A N. The uh, correct spelling cousin. is my middle name. Sean is H A W. 
W-N. N. Yes. Mm-hmm. Would you accept a U-N? I, I went to school with someone who had S-H-A-U-N, and I would accept that, yes. <laughs> I don't accept C-N. C-N. <laughs> That's the real Irish way to say it, I yeah. guess. Yeah. Yeah, like Ian, mm-hmm. Sean, and Ian. But um, John Putch, yeah. Um, Did he do anything else? I didn't recognize this guy at all. He was in the American Pie Presents the Book of Love. I didn't see that. <laughs> what? One. I never even heard of that. Is that like the eighth Dorian yeah. video yeah. sequel? The Father and the Bear. I didn't know that. He was in Cougar Town. The um, uh, show with Cox. Uh, Courtney Cox. I only yeah. know that from Community. <laughs> he, and Busy uh, Phillips was But in he that, was too. the director yeah. for that. He wasn't in it. He directed 29 huh. of 102 episodes of uh, Cougar Town. Good for him. I guess 102 he's episodes. That's how many there were of Cougar I'm Town. Yeah. Shocked by that. Okay. Cougar Town was one of those shows that got canceled and then got picked up by another network. Okay. Yeah. Interesting. Did we need that to happen? <laughs> <laughs> um, up next, playing Kelly Ann Bukowski was Leah Thompson. Mm-hmm. A very promiscuous Leah Thompson. Is, mm-hmm. Was this like her first thing or had to be? One of her first things, right? I didn't things, look right? to see if anything before this, so I'm not sure. Hmm. I didn't look either. Back to the Future. Back to the Future mm-hmm. 2. Back, Back to, to the, the Future, future Howard the Duck <laughs> is in there. Howard the Duck. Howard the Good Duck. Call. Back to the Future 2 and 3 are not in there. I don't know if any of these others are going to be... Oh, um, um, uh, Tom Cruise, All the Right Moves. Not in there. The ah. Year of Spectacular Men... The Trouble with the Truth and Switch That Birth. I don't know that. Oh, Switch That Birth is a terror watch that. It was a TV show on like ABC Family. I was going to say, it's a Lifetime movie. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Sorry about that. Um, P.H. Moriarty played Jack Tate. I don't who know who that? that character is in this movie. <laughs> he was the baldish guy, right? Wasn't he? Um... Was he the Phillips secondhand guy, right hand man? The black dude that got eaten at the end? The one no, that no, the shark just pulled away? His buddy that was with uh, Philip. Um, part of the camera crew, I guess it was. Oh, he was the oh. one who was screaming, Governor! And he had like the, the, the milky eye. He had the scar. Did he have a milky eye? He had like the scar over his eye. Yeah. <laughs> that was great. He was like, Governor! Give me your hand! <laughs> <laughs> just... I don't know, Jay. What's he in? I got man? that. That's the pictures I found of him. I guess that's him. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's him. Yeah. I think that's him. Yeah, because he's on the ladder yelling yeah. governor. Um, but Jaws Come 3 on. Jaws 3 D's in there, but then Lock Stock and Two Smoking Barrels. Mm. I never movie. saw that. Great movie. I think I saw that. That's a Guy Ritchie movie. And but then the long very funny. The Long Good Friday and Outland. I didn't know either mm-hmm. of those either. I feel Outland is like seventeen different things. There's been a lot of Outlands out there. And that's pretty much it for the cast of yeah. people that we know. Mm-hmm. Not the cast. Yeah. Um, I did notice when they were, uh, every time they went to a crowd scene <clears throat> in the uh, arena there, there were two empty seats right at the front. Really? I was like, why do they, why do they keep showing empty seats there? I mean, it was a huge crowd scene. It wasn't like they yeah. were focusing on these two, two empty seats. But front row, two empty seats. I was like, they, they could get extras you know? for that? Do you think they were... Wouldn't want to fill those up. <laughs> those two empty seats were in the cast. They were also empty seats in the following movies. Uh, the taglines I had for this were reaching new depths of terror. <laughs> oh, no. The third dimension is terror. No. And a deadly new attraction. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> they were reaching for depths in this, but it wasn't for terror. Yeah. I. Uh, you want to talk about the 3D first, or do you want to talk about... Oh, gosh. <laughs> so my first two notes are... That star field behind the Universal logo must have really looked good in 3D because it, you could tell it, it said Universal and then the stars started shimmering. I'm like, okay. Everybody's name and everything. You could see how they had to like the... Yeah. It just, uh. But that fish head at the beginning, uh, yeah. the, the shark bites the fish and the head is just floating for like a minute. Yeah. <laughs> no one gives a shit about a fish head. Why do you keep showing it? But it's floating. Is that supposed to scare floating. us? I was like, that's nature. Floating. <laughs> Floating, yeah. yeah, and its mouth was moving. In the three D of this movie, besides the shittiness of it, it, it really cut down the quality of it because there were scenes where there was no three D happening, but you could tell everybody in the background was like 
super out of focus or like around the edges of the movie where now i'm watching it on netflix 40 years later maybe in the theater it didn't yeah. look like that but yeah <laughs> man it looked terrible today well it said the filmmakers initially initially planned to have very few pop-out effects where objects extend beyond the screen in 3d but studio executives ultimately pressured them to include more Worried that audiences would leave disappointed and spread bad word of mouth if the 3D were used mainly for depth. <clears throat> so that one hand that just float, <laughs> floated towards the screen. Or that one eel <laughs> that popped out and just floated towards the screen. Or the, obviously, the harpoon that Dennis Quaid, but it might as well have been Jason Voorhees, shot directly at the camera. Yep. like, didn't we just see this in front of the 13th part of 3D? <laughs> part 3D was where he shoots the crossbow, right? right? Yeah. <laughs> He it takes it and aims it right at the camera. <laughs> right, and there was a syringe when they were going to inject it with oh, the... Oh, and it squirted. It squirted yeah. right on the lens. Yeah. I, like, I did look it up, but it is, uh, it is Leah Thompson's film debut. Is it really? Okay. Oh. Yeah. She had a decent part for her film debut. Yeah, right? Because she was the, probably the best actress in the whole group. In a later interview, Dennis Quaid, Dennis Quaid referred to this movie as, I was in Jaws what? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure he got paid well. I'm sure Jack Wade's living off those Jaws three residuals right now, and and the boys. Well, I think Jack Wade's doing all right without uh, <laughs> those residuals. I do wish I had 3D glasses while I was watching that. I would have worn them and watched it. Would they have Does, worked? I don't. I, I, I think, I don't, I don't I think it might have made a little bit. It. I think you could see some things that might have looked a little different, but yeah. I don't think it would have been full 3D. Oh, okay. I think they like, yeah, yeah. to actually broadcast the signal in 3D and Netflix probably and does has, not do that. You have to have the capabilities like the TV, those 3D TVs yeah, have, have to have that oh, okay. capability, yeah. Do you think Leah Thompson had to learn how to water ski for this movie? Did she ever actually <laughs> water ski? That's a good question. You saw the, the pyramid yeah, and then they zoomed in right on her. She was a real like smart ass too, wasn't yeah. she? Like, But I thought it was funny that they showed Leah Thompson not really water skiing and then they showed Dennis Quaid Really jet skiing. Yeah. Like he jumped on a jet ski, drove away, and then even more impressively, drove up on a dock yeah. and kind of as it was still moving, hopped off it. And was, was it like, really, oh. was that actually a jet ski? Because it looked, oh, well, uh, it seemed like a water scooter. Yeah, well. I think it was because it was eight, it was 40 years ago, so I don't think they look that's as a, okay. modern. I think Because he more, was standing yeah. on it. There wasn't a seat, right? Didn't In he stand mind, on it? It definitely <laughs> lifted up for him yeah. to hold on to. Yeah. So it kind of looked like. I mean, maybe it was even one where you're supposed to be on your knees, maybe. Yeah. yeah those kind, too. I don't know, but yeah. It Did was they definitely have not like, a normal... No, it was yeah. different. Maybe it was an inner park kind of thing. Like, yeah. just a little scooter. Speaking, the, speaking of the park... I mean, it was ridiculous. First that, of all, that was SeaWorld. Did they that have, was... <laughs> yeah. Did they have some kind of deal with SeaWorld to use their name like that? Because they I had don't know. no no back. There was like nothing in the background. No. Like you would think there, there would be like no sea, park, like Sea World thing. Because it clearly was Sea World, and they said Shamu, which they said, was yeah. that. I think this well, was what Sea World was forty years ago. I mean, I went to Sea World twenty years ago, and there's roller coasters there now. Yeah. So I'm wondering if this was just what Sea World was back then. I went then. to Sea World forty years ago. Did and you really? Yeah, I saw Shamu and all that in Florida down in um, Disney. Was there more to the park though, or I only like, I, like I'm thinking I like monorail remember, maybe. No, I only remember that uh, tank, the one tank. But forty years ago, I was. Okay, maybe it was less than four years ago, but I was probably eight. But um, I don't remember anything other than sitting in front of that big thing to see the show, to see Shamu. I got a Shamu doll, and then I remember nothing else. I actually grew up thinking it was part of Disney World, and I just had gone to another thing. I thought I was in Disney. I didn't realize it was a different thing. Yeah. But I, I don't I, remember I took it. the kids to SeaWorld probably 20, well, no, not 20, 15 years ago. And... There were roller coasters there. Yeah, like, I, don't I remember think I had taking rides. Daniel on like a flume ride, and we didn't know it was also a roller coaster. And Daniel was fucking terrified because it just dropped out. Of nowhere. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! But it had like upside down roller coasters and stuff like that too there, and that's not. I don't remember that. This was like a lagoon with a yeah. Hey, look. There's some dolphins. Yeah. And girls on the uh, jet. Uh, the, um, yeah, where was the lazy river and all that mm-hmm. stuff? With an extremely deep um, uh, underwater thing. That looked like it was at the bottom of the deepest depths of the ocean. Well, they said it was man-made. They showed the yeah. the um, making of it there. They showed how it was dug out. Yeah. And but it was really like but, huge. Yeah. It seemed gigantic. Especially since they had a, cr- a craft 
There should have been somebody that doing a diving. There should have been a diving act. In. I would have wanted a nice diving act, like a high dive yeah. act. Would have been fun. Like a horse jumping. A into horse the water. jumping into a bucket. <laughs> yes, that'd be great. <laughs> <laughs> I think I've seen that before. Atlantic yeah. City, right? Uh-huh. Yep. <laughs> that that um that little yellow thing that they took down, whatever that's called. It was so ridiculous when it was flying <laughs> floating by that window. Oh my god! I had rewound it because Tara had gone upstairs. She was like, "Don't hit pause." I was expecting to see people because that was Dennis Quaid and Bess Armstrong. I was yeah. expecting to see their feet like paddling. Yeah. As they yeah. Went down. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I don't. I don't know how old. So awful. I don't know how old this comment was, but it said the female dolphin called Sandy in the movie is really a male dolphin named Capricorn. He currently lives in Discovery Cove, which is owned by SeaWorld Orlando and has interactions with guests, like giving them rides and doing tricks for them. Capricorn is fifty years old. Wow, go Capricorn! How? Yeah. I don't know when that's from, but like that's pretty good. I mean, but it lived to fifty yeah. anyway, so that's. Pretty I was cool. curious. Yeah, I wonder I how know long they live. Lived that yeah. long. Wow. They're mammals. I guess mammals well, live longer than anything else. Yeah, yeah. Right? they do live a long time. And um, there's one in ca- I don't. I think it's an orca in captivity now. That's so old and has lived in one of those tanks for so long. He's just in there by himself, and the park is like shut down. <laughs> They're like, and they keep showing them. They do and like they aerial views of the junk. No, they can't, can't put, no, they can't they put can't. them out there because it's awful. Die. Yeah. It's yeah. like when you put really grandma awful. on the home, and you're just like, just die tomorrow, Stop please, it. just no. please die. It's like no. when they put that. I like put that out there for my mom because she listens to the podcast. <laughs> You see that video where that kid releases that little frog into the uh, into the water, and then a duck just swims over. For oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> oh, I released a frog once into the pond behind the office on a Saturday with Ashley. I hope a turtle didn't eat it or something. No, Saturday I saw him the other day. He's doing well. He is okay. He good. tipped his hat to me. He's like, <laughs> "Tell Dana to you're on the WB." <laughs> <laughs> I want to know if the game, um, Stand the game off? of standoff, is actually a game. That was the <laughs> and, d- re- most ridiculous thing I've ever seen. How about, how about afterwards when he was like, "I challenge you, only you." Yeah. Do you hear that guy talk? Is, it, yeah. is it a man on woman event? Because I don't think. I mean, the I don't. Two care. guys were doing it. Also, oh, we're, yeah. yeah. I think a man could always push over a woman, no <laughs> yeah. matter what the I, amount probably. of pressure is there. I, I think I could get pushed over. You. I'm yeah. pushing you over. Starting with a 12 year old boy, I think that's the yeah. age I could get pushed over. I was by thinking it was going to be one of those things where you put your foot next to each other, you know, and then they each and have one yeah. hand and you got to yeah. pull each other like that. That's more of a challenge. Yeah, this was know? odd and it was like a classic. This was a little more. This was more sexual, I think. Like it almost would lead to. To like hooking yeah. up, you have to have like, like three kind of drinks way. before you do it. And when <laughs> I say my I'm pushing, down. I'm pushing. <laughs> like, so stupid. When I say I'm pushing over any woman a hundred pounds less than me, I don't mean that because anybody could push me over. But <laughs> if I'm a regular man, I'm not getting pushed over by a woman. Um, I'm Jennifer that Jennifer sense. Jason Lee auditioned uh, to play uh, Leah Thompson's role in this. I feel like Jennifer Jason Lee has been mentioned a lot as audition. She's for one of our and, it girls at yeah, this time. But, I don't know what movie it was recently where she was also maybe it was the um, but we also Debbie, had Debbie her Harry in, movie yeah. in, um, in Video, uh, Drone. Video Drone or whatever. But I feel she's always up for the part. Well, Sometimes real, real quick, she Dana, get those you parts. watched Sleepaway Camp for the first time because of this uh, podcast, right? Yeah. What did you think of Sleepaway Camp? I, I thought it was hilarious. What? Let's go back. Give us a score for Sleepaway Camp. What would oh, you give? Oh God, I don't know. Um, I was entertained. I laughed. Are you not entertained? I, I don't think I was supposed to laugh. I yelled a lot. We, like... Hey, Angela, why are you so yeah. f***ed up? It was like, <laughs> it was a terrible movie, but I had a great time watching it. I really did. And I can see, this is the kind of movie, like, I would be like, Ashley and Mario, let's watch this together. It's hilarious. <laughs> and then they look at me like, what the hell is wrong with yeah, you? You want to get the reaction. Yeah, I want to like, see yeah, the reaction yeah. and stuff. Um, <laughs> I think because I enjoyed it so much and I had a good time, I give it an 85. Just because I had a great That's time. That's what's up. That's what's up. And the, see, there's movies that are horrible that I don't have a good time watching. This movie was horrible, but I had a great time watching it. Me and it. Brian both really enjoyed it as well. Yeah. Andy was the only one to give it a 50. Yeah. yeah he didn't yeah. like it. It was, <laughs> I ain't got it was tired funny. Of this shit. I, and I constantly, and every time I hear someone say Angela into me, I'm like, Angela. Angela, <laughs> Angela are you so fucked up, Angela? And next time tell, someone tells me to eat shit and die, I'm going to say, eat, eat shit, shit and live. live. That's a greatest I line will, ever. It really isn't is. It? <laughs> yep. I hope people tell me to eat shit all the time. Yeah, you. I'm, I want you're trying it. to bait yeah. people in his yeah. hand. Yeah. <laughs> uh. Is that the best line, or is 
Uh oh, here it is. Take a flying leap on a rolling donut on a gravel <laughs> driveway. Yeah. That was I really good. Rewind <laughs> this to hear it again. Because yeah. I was like, is that an insult? What'd she just say to her? Take a flying leap on a flying donut on a gravel highway, gr- a driveway. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you that have, was a good you, one. You have wounded me to the core, ma'am. That is such a great movie, man. <laughs> Uh, and she was saying it. Meanwhile, the poor guy is in bits He's, and pieces at the bottom of the lagoon. As of, decomposing. <laughs> as of April 2022, a dolphin named Capricorn is in this movie is 60 years old. And he could still go to Discovery Cove in Orlando, Florida and swim with him. So as of last year, this <sighs> dolphin's still alive. You can still swim with him as of last year. I mean, you that's should. great, but it also makes me very sad. Why? He lived this long life. He's been in a movie. In captivity. Yeah, but he's obviously happy. <sighs> I don't know. Is he? Poor thing. I'm going to go find and ask him. Are you happy? Well, I guess it's in SeaWorld in Orlando, right? We can <laughs> Discovery go see Cove in Orlando. Yeah, Let's you can go. swim wow. with him, Andy. I don't, know if the, I don't know how much that costs to swim with him, but... I mean, he's 60. You shouldn't be forcing him to carry around, you know. He's not. He's probably like... He's probably like the head of the... Uh, like, but at the tank, the like, people committee? come over to him and he's probably like, whatever, you the know what I mean? The dolphin mafia. He's like, yeah. just like, hey, you come to me if you want fish. Eh? He's like, oh, no, doing the damn. <laughs> <laughs> Why did um, SeaWorld have a pig mascot? They did? Oh, they most certainly did. Oh, I didn't because see that. they showed her dancing around, and then when they were walking off, Leah Thompson was talking to her and she was holding her pig head. Oh, I missed that. Her, I was like, what? Because what? <laughs> Why? Because they showed a woman, or they showed a whale mascot. She was walking okay. with the kids hand in hand, but then they showed a pig mascot. I'm like, hmm. I'm not quite sure. I understand the connection no. to SeaWorld and pigs. I also didn't know that stealing coral was a thing. Those guys got what they deserved. Yeah, yeah. You still because apparently the man-made lagoon. Has that they coral? just made yeah. has the best coral that they'll pay two hundred dollars yeah. for. That's worth your life. This was the first sequel nominated for the Golden Raspberry Award <laughs> for Worst Picture. I, I don't have a yeah. lot of memories about Jaws two, but I remember Jaws two just kind of being like eh. the same yeah. thing, but not as good. So this one, they changed yeah. the location. They made it Florida, not Long Island. And okay, that that the, I don't think the second one was any hot shakes either. No. Similar plot-wise to Revenge of the Creature, film critic Leonard Maltin even asked if this is an unofficial remake of Revenge of the Creature in 3D. I don't know Revenge of the Creature. I'm sorry. I can't comment well, I know, but that. I think it's funny that it, he thinks that that was this Did movie. Did you know I mean? I guess say, <laughs> let's do it for this one? And we're big Leonard Maltin fans. At least, I don't know if Dana still is, but I'm a big Leonard Maltin fan. I like Leonard Maltin game. I wish he would have been at the... Uh, a show that we were at. I know. Him, you know. Oh, but what I'm is going, that? What are you talking about? I don't get it. What's that? What's Douglas that? movies. Douglas movies. We went to the Christmas. Uh, and Leonard Maltin's supposed to be there. There's a game. Leonard Maltin yeah. game. Oh, oh, oh. But oh, Leonard okay. Maltin's been on his podcast I mean, I, a I, bunch I, of times. Yeah. This podcast? I, Not ours. No. Oh, oh Jesus. But um, I'm going to see. The I thought ben- I missed him. <laughs> I'm going to see the me? Benson movie interruption, and I text and I tweeted at or I uh xed at Doug. I said what movie because it didn't say what movie, but I got my ticket already, and it said. Everybody's uh, told to bring a movie, and we're going to vote and pick the movie out of oh, what we bring. Okay. So i got to bring a movie. Should I bring Surf 2 or Pandemonium? I don't know. <laughs> I'd say bring Joe's 3. Wow. <laughs> I want to watch something that's fun. Oh, sorry. <laughs> yeah, don't bring Joe's 3. Although I, mean, I got to no, say, like, you know what I might bring? I might bring Midnight Madness or mm-hmm. Garbage Pail Kids the movie. Oh, my gosh. That was great. <laughs> I loved that when I was So a what kid. happens? You all, Everybody brings a movie and, and then, uh, they're going to pull it out of a hat or something then, like then that? Then we'll or? vote on it. He said, like, uh, the top, okay. so then we'll vote on it and then we watch it and then they interrupt it. Yeah. <laughs> That's kind of fun. Yeah. <laughs> Which is what we wanted to do sometimes uh, on a live podcast. And Brian even said he was interested in doing that, but he just had some things to do because it was live. But And say so he decided he didn't want to do anything. He's doing another podcast now. Mm. <laughs> we fired him. It's fun. <laughs> I, you know what? This movie was one of the first times I remember, even in the theater, watching this in 1983. That filming, like, nighttime scenes where it's obvious they're filming during the day and they must, like, turn, they must do some kind of camera trick where they turn the light down. It was the scene where they were all, um, when Leah Thompson and Sean Brody were in the water 
and Bess Armstrong and and uh, Dennis Quaid are hooking up. Oh, and um, they're they're and, with and, the bullhorn, uh, right? But before that, and so they're just standing on the beach and like they are like pitch black and the background is lighter than them. I'm like that doesn't look like any kind of natural nighttime yeah. lighting. So they film this during the day and then turn the light down. But man, it looks so bad and. It's still never good. It's Game, Joe Alves first Game, directing. Game of Thrones did that thirty five years <laughs> later, and it still looked like shit. But oh man, yeah, it looks Sometimes so I bad. The Game of Thrones did that on purpose, though. Yeah, to look and that it was dark. a bad movie. Yeah, it's it, filming night for day is not good, or day for night. However, yeah. it's I mean, filming do, during the you, day. You got to do night vision though. That's when you, when it's, it's like not the good. Green, the green it's not night vision look. when you're like, uh, what was that? Um, Silence of the Lambs. When mm-hmm. you're, well, that's fine. Yeah. yeah, when you when you mean it to look like that, it's one yeah. thing. But you're, now you're filming. <laughs> it's gonna be. We're gonna make it look like it's nighttime, but it's really daytime. And we're gonna film it, and we're just gonna like gray out the background, and ugh, it looks terrible. There was one <clears throat> scene. The whole there's a word I never use because it's stupid, but the, ugh, it's not stupid. But the whole hunt when they were trying to tranquilize it. Was so the only word to come up with was preposterous. Like this is <laughs> unbelievable. This absurd. is so absurd and far fetched. <laughs> and why are you doing this at night? Well, exactly. Why, why are they did, doing every at shark hunt at yeah. night? Because there were three different times they went to the yeah, water. Every right? time the they went to fist the gate, it was at night. Every time they did anything, it was yep. at night. I didn't understand that either. It just makes things. Yeah. It makes the shark. Yeah. You don't have to film the shark. We'll just like, it's, yeah. they, it's, it's so they dark. Try to make, it tries to make things scarier because if it's dark out, you know, like horror movies have a lot of things always in the dark. And yeah. it's just, but it's like, you're not making it scarier. I mean, seeing you're, the shark is what's scarier. Yeah. I mean, I mean, if you're making Jaws 3 to be scary, <laughs> you, you swung and missed. There, there's nothing. That's what they were trying to do. There's I not think, one you know? scary thing about this. The only thing that's kind of like maybe horror is, is the first guy that gets killed, the, the guy that's working on the gate when they find his body. Yeah. And then the, Pull off the cloth. Is that the one that was uh, his wife was pissed off? Yeah, yeah. she was the one that said he can (laughs) spin on a donut on the gravel. He can kick rocks. (laughs) They they, left all the little crabs on him too. Right, you know that that was kind of, and then something crawled out of his (laughs) mouth. mouth, Yeah, yeah, okay, that's gross, but that that's not horror. That's just gross. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, it it was ridiculous. Um, Everything Jaws was just conveniently up and halfway out of the water, just in time to be, you know, shot with a harpoon, and and then she was underneath as it swam swam by, and she then she tranquilized it. Yeah. I thought that was the I don't know I was confused there, but then she was underwater, and then she's climbing out, and Dennis Quaid jumps in the water. She didn't need your help, dude. She was fine getting out of the water. What'd you jump in for? You're so to be our hero. He, oh, he was I doing could. that. To, I got I got to help her. I yeah. got to go in there. She got she I, she I need to help her get up this two rung ladder. <laughs> he what, what was his job? He was he's weld- an engineer. He built yeah. it. Welding underground in yeah. the, or underwater. Does but she went look, down there. Does yes. Dana look like she's getting excited for what she's got to do after this podcast? But she'd much <laughs> rather be doing that. I have a whole lot to change my outfit and everything. Um, I put on a Taylor Swift outfit. <laughs> I know. I had to put on my hoodie. Because that's how Dana sounds. She talks like that. <laughs> I do. I do. When I'm excited. Um, yeah, it was just, it was silly. There was one point, I, I don't know if it's when all the people were trapped in the tunnels. They put someone pushed that poor girl's face up into oh, the glass. Yeah. What was that? They just like her <laughs> yep. face smashed into the glass so hard it was unnecessary. And I so wanted one of those old people to be somebody. I was like online, like who's, <laughs> who's that old lady right there? Do I know her from something? <laughs> like no one's known. I wanted but. more views of the tunnel, just walking through that tunnel of just yeah. um, the sharks and everything's just swimming over top you mm-hmm. and everything. That's fun. I like stuff like that. Like if you're oh, a- yeah, and then at the end when they're like, there he is, and they just. That glass, which is holding the pressure of all that water, is hit by Jaws and just breaks free. That was just the breaks free. worst special effect in this oh movie. Oh, Terrible special effect. Like, you saw him, or was it, uh, I guess it, it was, was a, a mama. Yes, girl. mom. Saw her hit the glass, but it froze it so they could draw. Yeah. <laughs> so oh, my God. Terrible. But I was actually going to bring up the fact that before that, before she hit the glass, when... Uh, Dennis Quaid and Bess Armstrong go down to the bar where Lou Gossett is with the the, oh. the shareholders, and yeah. and they're talking about the shark, and it's thirty five feet, and we didn't get the right one because they killed the baby, and blah, blah, blah. and I'm like, oh my god, like how are they gonna? It's gonna be another half hour of them proving it, and like, 
Oh, there it is right there. And Terrence Quaid, like, there it is. I'm like, thank God. I'm like, oh, my God. I'm like, I was really nervous that they're going to have to, like, spend, like, a half hour being, like, mayor from Amityville going, like, I don't. I didn't see any shark. This it's not really. This, oh God! Don't don't make it like that. The but park's no, open. Then the shark just conveniently <laughs> swam right by the observation where everybody that was discussing the shark was. So they were like, "Oh, there it is, right there." Oh yeah, that is thirty-five feet. That's scary. Yeah, Let's fucking take care. Because <laughs> it was getting late in the day, and I'm like, "Oh my God, are we going to go through this?" Where they're like, "Oh my God, I don't believe you." So now you have to bring us proof. But they didn't have to do that because the shark conveniently <laughs> showed yeah. up. Oh, what a perfect bad. timing! Mm-mm. Then when it does crash through, I guess the the watch center. Why that's like even that there? I don't know. The right. command yeah, center. Yeah. Um, and luckily the guy who he's eaten three people since, but <laughs> Philip is still hanging out his mouth. Well, he long way. Like, his arm got caught in his yeah, teeth back there. Caught like, in his teeth. Caught in the- and and that- I thought he was alive at first. I'm like, is he reaching out? Like, I really is he still alive? I was very confused. And then Dennis Quaid. His skills with a hook, amazing. Well, amazing. When you have to get a grenade out of a shark's mouth, you know how to do that. Uh-huh. I, I felt watching this that I don't understand the physics of water. They're 40 feet deep, I think they said, and the command center got exploded, and it didn't immediately fill up with water. It took its time. It, they were able to run yeah. away and yeah. actually <laughs> get their scuba gear on. I'm like. Doesn't water fill up the void of space? Instantly. <laughs> as soon as it's available to it, but it was not for, slowly, not for movies. It was slowly rising. I'm like, yeah. but there's they're underwater. There is no slowly yeah, rising. Not for they're underwater. slowly rising. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but physics be damned. Physics be damned. Um I don't have any more notes, kids. No, I'm just uh, that end when he when the guy was I, I in his notes, mouth. All just like nonsense. In his mouth, holding the grenade like this for at least an hour, maybe more. Well, he was had dead. eaten other people, <laughs> still had a good grip on it, hanging at the perfect spot. Dennis Quaid got his hook in there, pulled that pin out. It was a, it I was thought, amazing. I thought yeah. the yeah. guy was going to be still alive. And I just thought holding he was, on yeah. the grenade like it's here. I did too please. at first. I like, thought he was I alive. Yeah, but he was obviously dead. Yeah. Um, two of my favorite scenes in this were when Dennis Quaid like knocks the popcorn vendor off his golf cart yes. so he can steal, <laughs> and all the popcorn goes flying off the back of the cart, and the kids come running at it like they're like dirty sandy popcorn. Yeah. Like I gotta get 3D. that. Like just like, like <laughs> popcorn in three D. Was just like wow. I was like, why would these kids want that popcorn? It's been on the ground. They were running at it like it was Halloween candy coming these out of Benyon. They were deprived, the man. <laughs> no, their parents paid for them to go to SeaWorld. It must have been like ten bucks back in nineteen eighty three. Yeah. They, were, they, yeah, right? they were so excited to get that popcorn. Um, shit. <laughs> what is it? Oh, is it- the, the shark growled. Yeah, Arr. it did. It growled. It absolutely growled. Do, do things growl underwater? I don't know. And I don't think water... you hear it that well. <laughs> no. <laughs> it does a water, doesn't water cut out sound? You can't hear it. I like, mean, unless it's sonar, right? You have to have sonar underwater. 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 I mean, you could be like... That would, it would be like... Would, yeah. And that was one like. of the funniest things with the subtitles. Like when Bess Armstrong and, and Dennis Quaid were underwater and they're like... Like you saw the subtitles of that. I'm like, they didn't say that. They said, (laughs) (laughs) I didn't hear get at now. No. Oh, man. What do you got score? What? Want to go into scores or do you have anything else? Wait, hang on. on. Oh, yeah. yeah. I guess I can add this to my score. That's fine. There you go. You want to get started, Dana? You want to give the first score for this one? I gave it a 70. 70, okay, for Dana. I have no reason, comments, why I gave it a 70. <laughs> um, it, I probably could have gone lower the more I thought about it. Um, this is Tara's score. She gave it a 75. <laughs> Yeah, I might change my. I might change lower that. What do you want? What do you want yours to be? I don't know. <laughs> like maybe it's more of like a sixty. Now that we've discussed it, we're so glad I have my score written 60, down. Sixty, yeah. Um, I don't know if anybody remembers Star Trek IV: The Voyage Home when the that's with the whales when the Klingon yes when the Klingon ship crashes into the uh, San Francisco Bay. There's whales in this. You should and, watch that one. And oh, Kirk and the female marine biologists are like screaming and the whales are jumping over them and they're screaming I'm like yeah holy shit I'm like as soon as I'm watching the end of this movie I'm like 
Is this where Star Trek Four came from? The the, the the dolphins are jumping over them, and she's screaming. And I'm like, my God, I have, I have Star Trek uh, Four vibes right now. Um, I I was really going to give this movie a lot of. I was like, it's not terrible. Like as I'm watching it, I'm like, it's not terrible. I'm okay. It, it it's not good, but it's not terrible. And then that end with that shitty shark breaking through the window when he was stuck. And trying to mm-hmm. bite them, and you just saw it outside. Like, re- I'm like, oh my god, oh, this is <laughs> terrible. It is a terrible movie. It um, is. I, listen, the biggest fault a horror movie could make is that it's not scary, and it, it was boring for like 40 minutes. Like nothing happened for 40 yeah, minutes. Louis Gossett wasn't like, on for 40 yeah, minutes either. Lou, Ga- yeah. Lou Gossett was in it for like 10 minutes total screen time, and he didn't even get killed. And he was not a bad guy. It wasn't like he deserved to die, but. He was the kind of guy that at least should have sacrificed himself for other people to live. live. Yeah. Um, so I'll never watch this again. Mm-mm. I mean, listen, neither will I. The movie no. Jaws exists for a reason because it's one of the all time best. I, I watched that last year. I'll probably watch it this year. Mm-hmm. And uh, I give this movie a sixty. And Michelle doesn't give it. A, Michelle you might give it. Yeah. Yeah. She didn't watch it enough. She would give it less than sixty. I'm <laughs> sure. I agree with you. I was ready to shit on this movie really really bad i said i can't wait to get this to zero is what i said to andy (laughs) earlier in the week but um i watched it it's not good it's it could have been worse um i don't never need to see this movie again i give it a 40 um yeah but i'm never gonna watch this movie again i think having dennis quaid and leah thompson and luke got luke gossett man like the gravitas of luke gossett has luke gossett jr is wasted Mm -hmm. they're like hey we can you want to get a paycheck dude he's like all right fine i'll just take a paycheck he absolutely he did nothing the cast is amazing for what kind of script this was and i get it dennis hopper and or uh, dennis hopper yeah dennis quaid and leah thompson were (laughs) beginning of their career so it didn't matter but uh yeah, whatever. No good. No, not at all. Um, yeah, I take back my sixty. I get, I give it a forty two. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I stay with my sixty. I was surprised when Dana threw a seventy at it. I was like, ooh. <laughs> yeah, I gotta, I gotta get more thought behind, not thought behind my scoring process. Good lord! But if no. I really like no a movie, I'm all, like, please. it's, it's a between a ninety and a hundred. If I like it, if I don't like it, it's a sixty. You'll switch it. It'll it'll yeah. change as you're doing this. Yeah, you don't want to give every movie doing, the same score. You're just like, oh my god, this is a sixty. This is a sixty. Yeah. This is a sixty. Next yeah. week we're doing Mortuary, so that's okay. probably going to be an interesting score for. for I've you. never even heard of it. I don't know of this movie. Get your nineties ready. Oh boy, you might have to. Um, <laughs> you, you're probably going to have to rent it. I don't. I mean, make okay. sure that it's uh, still available before we uh, say to do that one because. We've come across like Eddie and the Cruisers is one of those movies. That's, I love that movie so much. It's not anywhere. Yeah, there was another one that we couldn't find. I, I wish I could remember now what it was, but but uh, it says it's on Roku with ads. It's on Tubi with ads, and then you can okay. buy, you can rent it for a buck ninety nine on Amazon. Bill Paxton's in it. Yes, he yes. is. <laughs> and that's why okay. Bill Paxton's dead now. He did this uh, movie. You know where Bill Paxton's not. He's not on Spreaker. He's not on Spreaker, but <laughs> we are. And that's where you can download, rate, subscribe, re- review, do all those fun things. It's the exciting new podcast on all our socials. The Jazoo over there on Instagram, Jazoo74 on Twitter. This has been the exciting new podcast. I'm Jason. Aegonzo1 on Twitter, Aegonzo1970 on Instagram. I'm Andy. Dana Caps on TikTok, Dana Caps77. No on way. Instagram. She's got another thing. And Twitter. And Twitter jail. once I get Twitter jail. logged in. I'm Dana. And Brian's Papa Bad Kitty for all you people that want to reach out to him. Fuck him. Don't reach out to him. Kevin, reach out to him. Bam, 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 b